What is Tea Express? Tea Express is a wooden roller coaster located at the Everland Resort in South Korea. Interestingly, the ride opened to the public as South Korea's first wooden roller coaster and currently remains the only one of its kind even to this day. On top of this, Tea Express is the rare Intamin prefabricated coaster model, one of only four built worldwide. The ride opened to the public on the 14th of March 2008 at the cost of roughly 36 billion won, equivalent to 32 million US dollars in today's money. Its name originates from the sponsor of the attraction, T-World, South Korea's largest wireless telecommunications operator. Upon first impressions, T-Express looks menacing in every way. The ride's huge scale and high speed are partially possible due to the complex nature of the track design. Interestingly, the attraction's manufacturer, Intamin, produces pre-cut wooden sections using precise laser equipment off-site, allowing for them to be put together on location in a short amount of time. The accurate nature of the track design allows for a smoother and more stable experience. A ride on T-Express begins with guests boarding one of three vehicles, each of which are made up of six cars, seating riders in three rows of two. This leads to a total of 36 visitors per train. Once boarded, guests are dispatched out of the station building, undergoing a small left-hand turn and a straight piece of track before joining the lift hill. The trains climb the huge 56 meter high lift hill, ascending the nearby hillside. Similar to other rides produced by the same company, T-Express utilizes a cable lift, allowing for guests to climb to the attraction's highest point at a faster rate. Once the trains have crested the hill, they navigate a 180 degree right-hand turn towards the attraction's huge 46 meter tall drop. Guests dive down the first descent at the maximum vertical angle of 77 degrees and quickly reach the top speed of 104 kilometers per hour. Before they have time to breathe, visitors are instantly subject to a huge airtime hill followed by an intense long right-hand turn. The trains traverse a quick transition into a long left-hand turn, followed by a small hill into the attraction's mid-course brake run. A few seconds later, guests once again plummet towards the ground before navigating an airtime hill, followed by a heavily banked right-hand turn. Guests enter another airtime hill, followed by a second right-hand turn into a series of two further airtime hills. At this point, the layout is somewhat repetitive. The trains navigate a mixture of near 180 degree turns and airtime hills, looping around the attraction's footprint. Each repetition sees guests come closer to the ground, retaining their high speed. Riders finally emerge from the structure, navigating two airtime hills, a slight turn, a further airtime hill, and a long, left-hand turn into the attraction's final brake run. Throughout the entire thrilling ride, Guests navigate 1,651 meters of track in approximately 94 seconds of ride time. This is calculated from the moment the train leaves the lift hill to when it enters the incredibly long final brake run. Because each train has a large capacity, the ride has a theoretical throughput of approximately 1,500 riders per hour. Interestingly, the second half of the attraction's layout is surprisingly similar, if not identical, to another coaster of the same model, Boulder at Liseberg in Sweden. After T-Express completes the mid-course brake run, both rides feature a repetitive layout reliant on a mixture of airtime hills and highly banked turns. This has allowed the attraction to become the longest of its kind by a significant margin. Because of the ride's impressive size, T-Express has been well received. Everland Resort saw a significant increase of visitors within the young adult and teenage markets, quantifying the success of the ride. Furthermore, it has performed very well in many respectable wooden roller coaster poles, often being ranked as one of the top five wooden coasters worldwide. Despite their good reputations, Intamin's prefabricated coaster model hasn't seen any new additions since the debut of T-Express in 2008. This leads to the question, would you like to see more parks invest in large-scale Intamin wooden coasters in the future? What's your opinion? A huge thanks goes to our supporters over on Patreon, including ML, Daniel Potter, George Spence, James Edison Mattock, and Lindsay Yale Entertainment.